Hello friends, welcome to my channel Nihira Techies. In this video, let me explain rating control in ReactJS. So first let me tell you what are the topics I am going to cover in this video. First we can implement on basic rating control. So after that we can set and get the values from our rating controls. So then we can do some optimization. So basically in this rating control we have the 5 stars. So if we want to increase or decrease the star counts that actually we can do. And the final one is half rating. So instead of providing the full value we can provide the half rating also. We can see all the topics with proper example. Now let me go to my application. So as usual we can create one component for our rating control. So this is the pattern actually I am following for in this series. Rating control. So we can use stateless functional component option. MUI rating. Okay. So next we can include one box tag. And here I am going to set some margin using the CSX property. First let me include one basic rating. The tag name is rating only. So let me save this one. And also we can include this component in our routing side. So in this app.js. After this fab. Let me include this rating. Okay, this is fine. Now let me go back to our common side. See the response now. We have the 5 star. So if I'm choose, so the value got assigned. Okay. So let me increase the size. So in this size we have three options large, medium and small. So let me choose this large. So this is the large one. Okay. So if you want to see the difference between large, small, medium. I am going to include two more star. So next let me tell you how to get the values from this rating control. For doing this one, let me declare one use state variable. So the default value I am just providing zero, okay. Let me command the next two controls, it's not needed. Here I am going to use this value property. So using that I am assigning the value. So initially let me provide two, okay. See now. So in this page load itself it's showing the value value was two star. And then here I am going to include this on change event. So in this change event. So let me bind our value change event. It's having two properties. One is event and another one is the new value. We can pass this new value. Okay. And here I am going to have one H2 tag. Selected value is. We can bind the same value. Okay. See, so the default value we have provided to, so, th so that's what it is showing the selected value also to. So once I am clicked this one, see it is changed into 3. So whatever star I am choosing based on that, it, this value is changing accordingly, okay. So now let me tell you how to use the read only property in our rating control. We can have the same star. Here let me include one beer tag. So we can remove this on change event and I'm just including this read only. Okay. There is no error. So the default value is showing. So whenever I'm choosing automatically this value also varying accordingly. 
since the second set of writing control I am unable to provide the input because it is the read only mode okay so next let me include some customization so instead of having this default 5 star let me include some additional stars so we can copy the whole section okay I am just removing this read only also it's not needed so here what I am going to provide so let me include one more property is called maximum I am just to provided the value is 10 see now so we have added uh, 10 stars okay so similarly if I am changing this into 8 then we will have like this maximum 8 and as of now we are providing the full value as our input so instead of that we can provide the half rating also for doing this one let me copy the same rating control once again okay this is fine and next let me declare one more use state variable so the default value is same only just we can include this h okay so this h denotes this is the half value and instead of this value also I can use this half value and in this event also I have provided as the half value change okay so in this case what I am going to provide we can include on property precision 0.5 you can save this one see if I am just mouse overing I am able to see this partial value see this partially applied and in this selected value also we can use this half rating only see so initially the default value is 2 only so if I am providing like this see the value is changed into 2.5 3.5 4.5 if I'm choosing completely it should be changed into 5 so similarly we can provide the half rating also so in case the default if you want to provide some value using the default value property let me provide 2.5 work okay, already we have binded this uh, value so that's what it is not coming like this otherwise if I am removing this one see so the default value is assigned so after that whatever value I am choosing based on that it is varying accordingly okay so this is the way we can use the rating control in our react.js application so still if you want to apply a lot of customization just to go to this material UI site so here in this component side we have this rating control so we have implemented this basic items only so instead of this star if you want to provide the heart that is possible so if you want to implement this kind of customized rating control in our application just to follow the steps click this one so here you will get this javascript and a typescript template so as of now we are using this javascript only so first we have, we can copy this section this style writing okay let me include in our application so here we have to import this styled otherwise it will throw the error styled okay and this writing also already we have imported so let me save this one okay there is no error so that means we have imported everything and this declaration so this is for showing this uh, emoji icons so if you noted here we are getting this 5 error the reason is we have not imported these all the icons so let me copy this 5 import section so let me include it so in my last video also I have explained how to use this material UI icons so we are just importing after that we are using in our application okay 
so the error got resolved next we can declare these functions and these property types so finally we can copy this section okay so there is no error see the output so finally whatever example we have seen in our mi site that actually we have implemented in our application so similarly we can do a lot of customization so now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching